We'll start with John Reed and then go to JP Shadrick. How you doing, Jay? I'm doing good. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's excellent. Um, can, can you just talk about your just, I mean, probably your approach is the same, but, you know, with this game, this team knows knows you a little better because of the tape they got from that game last week and you're playing in Lambeau. What What is um, just your approach this week in, in, in getting closer to that game on Sunday at Lambeau? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm focused on myself. I'm focused on our team. I uh, stepped back out on the practice field earlier today and I uh, felt a lot more confident. Um, felt like practice went really well. You know, I feel like just trying to build on on what I did on Sunday, and uh, I think today was a, a good step in that direction. Thank, thank you, John. We'll go to JP Shadrick, then Mike Duraco. Hey, Jake. Good afternoon. Uh, you were nine years old when Aaron Rodgers was drafted into the league when he was a rookie. What are some of your memories of him watching football, and is it surreal to be on the same field with him now, and, and what are your thoughts about going against him Sunday? Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Uh, as a guy I have a lot of respect for. Uh, you know, I was a big fan of growing up and a and, uh, huge fan of his game. You know, a lot of the things that he does, no one else, you know, really can do. He's, he's, a, he's a wizard with the football, you know, in a lot of ways. And, and uh, you know, like I said, a lot of respect for him. It'll be really exciting to get out there and, and get to play ball against him. And one follow-up here, um, what can you build upon from last week's performance? What went well for you? What were some things that didn't go so well? And, and how do you negotiate that this week? I mean, I think there's a lot of things I could build on. Uh, you know, watching the tape, I think just continuing to work through my reads fast and, uh, you know, getting from one guy to the next, I think is something, you know, I can I can continue to build on. But, uh, you know, there's lots of things, lots of, you know, small footwork things, footwork in the run game and, and reads that, you know, we can just keep cleaning up week to week and, and uh, you know, hoping, hopefully to, to build on that this week. Thanks. Thank you, JP. We'll go to Mike Duraco and then Mark Long. Hey, uh, Jake, is there a part of you that wishes fans were allowed in Lambeau just so you could kind of get the full Lambeau experience? Yeah, for sure. You know, so, somewhere I've dream to play in, you know, Lambeau Field is, is pretty historic, pretty awesome. It'd be, it'd be real cool if it was rocking, you know, a lot of people cheering against you. So it'll be a little different with it being empty, but I'm sure it'll still be awesome. It'll be a, a cool moment to step out on the field and, and take it all in. What, um, you said you, you've always dreamed of playing there. Were you a Packers fan growing up or is there just, you liked watching uh, the NFL, like watching Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't say I was a Packers fan, but I grew up a big fan of Favre, and then Rodgers stepped in, and I was a big fan of Rodgers. So I uh, definitely, you know, watched the quarterbacks that have played there, you know, over, over my childhood. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, D-Rock. We'll go to Mark Long and then to John Shipley. I'm just curious, Jake, uh, 30 people coming cross-country like they did. Uh, I don't know if they'll be able to get in this week, but do they have plans to see more of your games? How crazy is this uh, this Luton crowd that's going to follow? Are they going to follow you around the country? Uh, I, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I'm I'm not totally sure. Uh, you know, taking a week to week, they can't come this week, and so I'm sure I'm sure I'll see them again. You know, my brothers had a really good time. They're really excited, and uh, I think they all all of them would just wanted to stay out here. So. Uh, I'm sure they'll be trying to bug my mom to get back down here again sometime soon. And I, I read a story about your little, the littlest of the brothers. Uh, how special? I mean, it's kind of a unique situation being the distance. What is there, 15 years between the two of you? Yeah. What, uh, yeah what is that? What does he mean to you? And what is you know what's that relationship been like? It's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, you know, I've kind of been away the whole time he's really been alive. You know, I've been playing college ball, and his his whole entire life he's traveled around to my games and just known me as kind of the big brother that he goes to watch play football. And so now that he's getting a little bit older and he understands a little bit, uh, this past weekend was, was pretty special. Uh, when I got off the field, I gave him, gave him the wristbands I wore during the game. And I, I don't think he's still taking them off. You know, they were sweaty and gross and he was loving it. He was wearing them anyways. He didn't care. So it, it's a, it's a really cool relationship. Thank you, Mark. We got time for two more. So we'll go to John Shipley and then Cassidy Hill. 
Hey, Jake. Uh, Chris Conley had to step up and fill in a big role when LaVisca got hurt last week. Uh, what can you just say about uh, his kind of leadership on and off the field and ability to come in and help the offense like that? Yeah, I mean, Chris is a guy I have a huge deal of respect for. You know, one of the best leaders I've ever come in contact with on on any team and in any facet of life. You know, he's a he's a great guy, stand up guy, and he's a good player too. You know, you saw that he stepped in, he did a great job. Uh, a guy that you know I talked with today, just just working on some things, how we can can keep building, keep getting better. But you know, an awesome dude, awesome player, and I'm excited to you know keep working with him. Thanks, Jake. Thank you, John. We'll go to Cassidy Hill and then finish with Gene Fournette. Hey, Jake. Um, what have you seen from the Green Bay's defense? And I know Jair Alexander is still technically out with a concussion, but if he is back, what does he bring to the field especially? Yeah, I mean, I think a, a physical brand of football. I think that's that's kind of what they pride themselves in. They're a physical football team. And, uh, you know, watching them on tape, I think they're they're pretty solid all over the place. I don't think they have a – a glaring weakness. I think they got a good, uh, good front seven, good DBs, and and they're going to try to bring it to you. They're going to try to play physical, and so, you know, we're going to try to do the same thing. We're going to go up there and and play physical football and and implement the run game, and you know, have some try to have some success in the pass game where we can find it. But you know, I think physicality is is kind of the name of the game this week. Thank you. Thank you, Cassidy, and we'll wrap with Gene Fournette. Gene, I believe you're on mute. I'm sorry. When you look at the tape of the game, any things that you re that you uh, regret more than anything else, whether it was the near pick or maybe a read you should have that should have a place you should have gone that you didn't go. I mean, I, I think every single game you play, you're going to have those things, and uh, you can you know you can stay hung up on it and. Uh, you know, really soak on it or just try to build. You know, I think that there are, you know, several things. I think there's something in every play that, that I'd like to have done a little bit differently. And, and uh, you know, we went and we looked at it. Obviously, there's some throws, you know, that, that I'd like to have back and some reads I'd like to get through a little bit quicker. But, you know, I think that's football. You know, I think there's guys that have been in the league for 20 years that, you know, they still watch it and they wish that they could change something and they work every week to, to change it. And, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Got back on the practice field today and, trying to move a little bit faster, a little bit quicker through my reads and, and all those things. And so uh, we can build on it this week. Thanks. Cool. Thank you, Jake. All right. Thanks, guys.